What's up guys, Eric here, and in today's video, I want to talk about Killer Frost, aka Caitlyn Snow. At the end of Season 3 of The Flash, our beloved Caitlyn was still mostly evil as Killer Frost. After showing up for the funeral of H.R. Wells and being confronted by Team Flash, she admitted that she is no longer just Caitlyn Snow or just Killer Frost, but something else entirely. She also stated that she needed time away to figure herself out. So to first understand where she would go, we have to understand Killer Frost herself and why this personality is so vastly different from Caitlyn Snow. It wasn't really explored on the show, but in the comics there is an explanation for why Killer Frost is compelled to kill. You see, in the comics, in most versions of this character, she doesn't just create ice out of thin air. She absorbs heat from outside sources. She craves it in order to sustain her Killer Frost form. This allows her to transmute the heat into cold waves or blasts that she can use to create shields, walls of ice, projectiles, those types of things. Think of her like an ice Dracula. She's compelled to absorb heat from living things in order to survive. In the comics, it was established that if she didn't absorb certain amounts of heat, she could actually die from this. This drove her to absorb all the heat from her opponents and victims in order for her to live. Now, we don't know if it's to that extent on the show, but it would certainly account for her personality issues. Think of it like Bruce Banner and the Hulk. Chances are, Caitlyn is still in there somewhere deep down inside watching what's going on, but unable to actually do anything about it. Killer Frost is in control, and the longer she stays that way, the harder it will be for our Caitlyn to ever come back. And chances are we'll never see that exact version of Caitlyn come full, full circle to the person we knew before. Imagine that the Hulk took over Banner and refused to change back. This would mean Banner is powerless to do anything while the Hulk is in control of his body, acting out as a completely different persona. And that's what's going on with Caitlyn Snow. So you may ask why I believe that the energy absorbing aspect of her powers still exists on the show, and I have an answer. If you remember back to episode five of season three, her mother attempted to help her and they found out that her body was not just cold, that she was absorbing energy. The only thing is we never had a chance to really dive into those aspects of her powers due to the conflicts between Caitlin, her mother, and her mother's team of scientists. We also know that Julian went to Caitlin's mother for help in creating a serum to cure Caitlin of her Killer Frost personality. So it stands to reason that her mother has been consistently working on Caitlyn's problems since she last visited her earlier in season three. Now it's no big secret that her mother most likely wants to learn how to harness this power for herself, but that also means that her mother is probably the most knowledgeable on what's actually going on with Caitlyn and Killer Frost. So all of this, everything we talked about, this brings me to the conclusion that Killer Frost is probably hiding out with her mother. Although she's had issues with her mother in the past, the person most capable of helping her determine what's actually going on with her and her powers is her mother. This could lead to a redemption arc for Killer Frost, who at present, in the comics, DC Rebirth, she's been working with the Justice League. Honestly, if she joins Team Flash as Killer Frost, along with the Flash, Kid Flash, and Vibe, we have the most powerful superhero team in the Arrowverse right there in one place. But for now, she's probably training and possibly creating tech to help manage her powers at Tannhauser Industries, along with her mom. That's just my best guess. What's yours? What do you think is going on with Killer Frost? Where do you think she's hiding? And do you think we will actually see Caitlyn Snow come back to Flash? Let me know in the comments below. That's all I got for you guys today. Take care. Have a great day. Have a great week. And I will catch you guys later.